Hello there, my name is Sally Rowe and uh, this is my Swedish Falcon lady. Uh, she's 12 years old now, but I've been training her for most of my life. She currently knows over 70 commands. And she will sneeze on command and she'll fetch a tissue if you sneeze. Uh, she'll fetch coins from the floor and collect them all up in a pot for you. And she's done a bit of film work and TV work and she'll go to markers and put her nose and paw on things. There's three ways in which you can train dogs to do tricks. Uh, these three are shaping, catching and luring. And I'm going to explain a little bit about each of the three of them and how you can go about training your dog to do some tricks um, using these three methods. To shape a behaviour, have an idea of what you want as the end goal, but break it down into lots of little steps. So if you want your dog to go and lie down on a rug, on a blanket, you start off by rewarding them for just looking at the blanket and then taking one step towards the blanket and then two and then three and eventually getting onto the blanket and then you can work on them lying down. Catching the behaviour is literally catching them at the behaviour that you want them to do. And it's things useful for things like speaking on command or barking on command um, or scratching because it's not really something you can encourage the dog to do. So you just wait till they happen to do it naturally and then you catch that behaviour by rewarding them at the time they're doing it. Luring is another way to train your dog. And with this one you encourage them with a treat or even with your hands um, to do the behaviour you want. So if you want them to spin, if you get a treat, and lead it round the dog in a circular motion, the dog will often follow the treat with its nose um, and end up spinning, um, and this can lead to the end behaviour. With these three methods, you can teach your dog to do pretty much anything, and you can have great fun while doing it, really strengthening the bond that you have with your dog and teaching them some fantastic tricks. So I'm going to train Lady to do a couple of behaviours, and I'm going to use the luring method to teach her. We start off with a treat, and from a lying down position, you can bring a treat up, past her, her leg, over her back, good girl, and all the way over to encourage her to roll over. Now, Lady does know this already, so she's going to be quite, quite good at it. Lady, down. But it can be exactly the same with your dog. Just do it in very slow stages. Down. <laughs> Lady, down. Start by just getting the head and just getting them to relax over to one side. Good girl. Lady, what's this? Once they've done that a few times and are confidently going over onto the side, then bring the treat round so that they're craning their neck over their shoulder a little bit. Good girl. And eventually, it'll be easier for them to roll over. Good girl. Good girl. You can also use luring to teach them to spin. So get the treat and put it round in a large circle. Good girl. And give them the treat. With any of these behaviours, you can use the clicker, watch our clicker training video for information about how to use a clicker, and you can use this to mark the behaviour that they're doing right, and that should speed up your training. <coughs> to catch behaviours, basically you need to wait till your dog does something that you want them to do, and then reward them when they do it. And this is where a clicker comes in particularly handy, because you can mark the exact moment where they've done the behaviour you want. Good girl, good girl. It may take a little while with this method because, for example, if she shakes and I reward her and give her a treat, she's not necessarily going to shake immediately again, so you might just have to wait until the next time that she happens to do it. Um, it can take a while, but you can get some very impressive behaviours as a result. Lady. Sit. Have you got a cold? Good girl. And that was taught by catching. To shape a behaviour, we need to reward every little step that leads towards the final behaviour we want. So I've got an item that Lady hasn't seen before. I'm just going to put it a little way away. When she looks towards it... Good girl. I'm going to click and give her a treat. Good girl. So she starts to get the idea that it's something to do... Good girl with those keys. Good girl. Thank you. Good girl. Now I've been training Lady with shaping for a very long time so it didn't take her long at all to realise that what, she, what I wanted was for her to pick up the keys and bring them back to me. If you and your dog are new to shaping then it will take a lot longer than that. Start off by rewarding them for just looking at the item and then maybe standing up while looking at the item and then taking one step and then two steps and three and four and so on reward them for putting their nose towards the keys and then nudging it a little bit and then opening their mouth near the keys. Eventually you can shape them to put their mouth around the keys and pick them up and bring them all the way back to you. 
and it will take a little bit of time. But as you can see, the more shaping you do, the quicker they'll learn. This kind of training can be useful for practical everyday behaviours, like getting in and out of the car, uh, settling on their bed while you're watching TV, or fetching you the newspaper in the morning.